In today's video, we are going to take a look at the project I created yesterday. That is basically, we tried to combine the new GPT-4 Vision API with the Dolly 3 API. So basically, what we want to do is to describe a reference image, then try to either create a synthetic version of it, or evolve it, as you can see in the background here. So I thought this was pretty cool and quite easy to set up. So let's take a look. Let's start by looking at the flowchart for this system. So you can see the first thing we need is a reference image. This image is going to be fed into the GPT Vision API. And from that we will generate a description. And when we have that description, we can actually feed that into the Dolly 3 API as a prompt. And from that description, hopefully we will get a like a synthetic version of the image we described with GPT Vision. That was our reference image. The next step then is going to be to take that original reference image and compare it with the synthetic version and try to use GPT Vision again to compare them and improve the prompt so we can feed that prompt back into Dolly 3 with hopefully an improved prompt. And from that improved prompt again, we get a new synthetic image. And so goes the loop. So I have created like a 10 iteration loop. That means we will get 10 synthetic images. And that is kind of my first version of this. I also created an evolution version of this. So it's basically the same, only on the second loop, we, instead of comparing the synthetic image to the reference image, we kind of just compare the two synthetic images. And from that, we're going to generate a new prompt, but for each prompt, we're going to add a new style to the image. So that means that we get like this evolution of each image and these are like going to be fed back in. So we will kind of evolve from the reference image to, yeah, you will see a whole new style, but it also goes back to the reference image, but just different styles. Again, we can run this in a 10 times loop to get 10 images. So yeah, but now let's take a quick look at the Python code for this before we run it. Let's take a look at some of the functions we have in this system. So the first one is just a vision API describe image. This is using the GPT-4 vision preview model. Uh, yes, we're going to take an image as an input. Here is kind of the prompt I created for this. So describe the image in detail, colors, features, team style, etc. Uh, yeah, we set the token to 300 max. I don't think we need more than that. And this is going to return our description text that is that we are going to use going forward, right? Uh, next up, we have just a Dolly generate image function, pretty standard Dolly tree model. Uh, here you can see we kind of feed the description in here as a prompt. 1024 times 1024, and we just got to return one image. Uh, yeah. And next up, we have the Vision API compare and describe. So this is a bit different. Uh, we use the same GPT-4 Vision preview model, but we take in you can see we take in the reference image and we take in the new created synthetic image from Dolly 3. And the prompt here is describe both images in detail, then compare them, finally create a new and improved description prompt to match the reference images uh, as close as possible. Reference image. Okay, so let's say that. And yeah, that is basically it. And this is going to return an improved description text. And then we have basically a for loop here. That is going to do 10 iterations. So this is just going to do what we described in the flowchart. It's going to take in like the newly created synthetic image. It's going to look at the reference image and try to improve it. I also put in like a sleep timer here. I think I'm going to put it down to five seconds. So I think that should be good. Yeah, we have some kind of rate limit on the, on the GPT vision preview. So we can't run it too many times. So this is going to return descriptions and our synthetic image URL. So we set our reference image path, right? This is basically our reference image. So I just went to Google. I just searched for famous images. I found this Iwo Jima race flag image. I put this in my folder and I call it like ref image, right? And then we can run this. So that, I think we're just going to run it now and see if we can create a synthetic version of the Iwo Jima famous image. Okay, so let's just go Python iloop2.py. So I'm going to leave the folder up here so you can kind of see the images popping in here as we go. So I'm just going to start this. I think we're going to do like five images and let's take a look.
Okay, so I just stopped it here because I don't think it's gonna get much better. So if you take a look at our reference image, right? This one. And let's take a look at the first synthetic image. Yeah, pretty good, right? You can clearly see... Uh, but you, we gotta take into consideration that this is a very famous image. Uh, I think this looks even better. Just compare these two. So, if you look at kind of the bottom here, I think this one is much better. So if it, you can kind of see this... The bottom here looks much better on this one. Yeah, I think this looks great. So yeah, I gotta say mission complete. Uh, so I just stopped it. I don't think we're gonna get any more improvement than this. Uh, but now let's try to switch to the evolution version. And let's try to evolve. Let's find another other reference image and try to evolve it. Then maybe we can go back and try to create a more unknown image. Okay, so the profile image I picked out was this Breaking Bad Walter White image. I don't even know if we can run this because of like copyright and stuff. But uh, yeah, let's try it. Wow, that was so cool. So let's take a look here. So you can see this is kind of the image we started with, right? Then we evolved to this. Pretty cool. It kind of changed the gas mask over to this part, right? And then we went to this. <laughs> to this. This looks awesome. I love this style, right? And to this. I thought this one was very cool. But then we started to get weird here. <laughs> so we added some kind of steampunk thing. I think it already added steampunk. But then we ended up with this. So we kind of went from... The Walter White gas mask image to this. But some of the images in between it just looked badass, right? This one. And this one. Very cool. I was so happy with this. Uh, so I want to do one more of these evolution style images. Okay, so let's try actually an image I have created before with Dolly Tree. So this is just a retro 90s illustration of a... Computer setup with kind of this Python snake that kind of represents the programming language Python. So let's run this and see where this takes us. I just ended it here and I think this turned out pretty cool. You can clearly see we evolved this. So if we start looking at the reference image, we went to this original reference image. So this is supposed to be like a copy. Pretty good. Then we evolved to this, and we see, I kind of think this was very cool, I love the mechanical keyboard style here. And we just kept evolving on that. We ended up with some kind of, looks like some kind of music stuff. Here we have like a keyboard, but it's actually like a, a musical keyboard. And then we turn into, I don't know even what this is. And this, and we ended up with this. So we went from this to this. <laughs> Pretty cool. Some kind of old analog measuring devices or something. <laughs> Pretty special, right? Uh, but again, I think this was pretty cool. Yeah, I think we're just gonna call that. Uh, I think this works to some degree. I think there's a lot of improvement we can do with the prompts and stuff. And there were some bugs with that it didn't recognize the image and stuff. I can see in the code. But uh, yeah, for a first try, I'm very happy with this. Uh, I'm gonna be uploading this uh, code to my GitHub, so if you want to support me, just uh, become a member. You can just go for the lowest tier and you will get access to the GitHub where I will be posting this script and future script. I have a lot of good, cool ideas, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Uh, but other than that, thank you for tuning in, have a great day, and I'll see you again very soon with another cool project.